yeah, we live it, live it, yeah, we own it, own it. I was scrolling through my feed on Instagram and all of a sudden there was an account that was not active at all during the past month, but now it was there. It was suddenly there. And it was none other than Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi, and he posted the album cover of a song, and I was like, wait a second, 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 wait a second. I was like, whoa, 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 what is happening here? Like, I was not ready to get a new Kid Cudi song. It was like, out now. It was crazy to me. Like, I dropped everything. I ran here. I'm ready to react to this because this guy deserves reaction this guy deserves a review this guy deserves everything in the world this guy is amazing when he's doing it right so we're gonna review him kid cuddy leader of the deloquents first reaction let's go familiar lyrics Wow, okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is reminiscent of um, earlier stuff from Man on the Moon 1 and 2, but still different though. It's not so atmospheric, not so spacey as well. It's more of like a classic hip hop uh, beat and rapping on this uh, is still different. But I still feel like this song is closer to the style of Man on the Moon comparing to his later albums, uh, including Passion, Pain and Demon and Slain. He didn't forget to include his mm, humps, mm, like in the chorus, that was nice, that was nice. Oh no, actually this one was the chorus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he says leader of the delinquents, delinquents, like that, that's, that was the chorus, my bad. Initially when I said it was a chorus, it was not a chorus, but still, the verse was continuing. Wow, okay, well, this is a change for sure um, to the hip hop route, which I'm happy about because Kid Cudi had been trying himself in rock and that was not really successful for him. And then he sort of came back with uh, Kanye's uh, mentorship. Back in 2016, he dropped, um, first of all, some collaborations with uh, Kanye West again in on The Life of Pablo. And then he dropped uh, singles and then he, later an album back in 2016 again. Passion, Pain, and Demon Slain, and again, then, the, the record I loved, by the way, then, in 2018, again with Kanye West, he collaborated on Kids See Ghost, the album which got a huge praise from everybody, and uh, especially from Anthony Fantano, uh, that album, Kids See Ghost, got a 10 out of 10 from Anthony Fantano himself. So, Kid Cudi coming back to hip-hop is not really news, but in this form, uh, it's kind of new still for me. Like I, I feel like this one is so typical. This beat sounds so New York. The atmosphere of New York for sure. Like the rappers from East Coast, they rap on beats like this, uh, or they used to at least. This uh, beat sounds classic. This beat sounds from two uh, thousands era. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so for me, like. Uh, to listen to this it's really interesting it's really um, unique and weird experience because Kit Kat used to uh, rap on different types of beats and he used to be on this whole lot of different production and that would make him stand out of course his voice his hums his like weird and inf vocal inflections weird in a good sense um he, he was really different cat out there really cool cat but people loved him uh, kids also like he's talking about in the verses kids also loved him uh and on the verses here actually he goes really deep um on the first verse he talks about how you know he struggled with anxieties he had his inner demons that's not new that's what uh, kid Cudi has been always rapping about but still it was still nice uh, to hear that he acknowledged that uh, kids loved him because 
they could have connected with him on a different level, on this emotional level. And by kids, he means teenagers, uh, most likely. Because yes, teenagers from uh, 2000s era, 2010s, um, they love Kid Cudi a lot. They were huge fans of him because they feel like this figure is an idol. This, this figure is really teaching them how to go through bad times. Although Kid Cudi himself uh, had difficult times to tackle his inner demons and he had suicidal thoughts as well but still he was able to pass that now he's in a better place uh, gladly and uh, it was nice to hear him reflect on that and uh, again nice that he acknowledged uh, those kids as well and i'm glad that he knows i'm glad that he knows that he is such an influence on people Kid Cudi will always have a place in my heart because he's a Kanye West protege, uh, my favorite artist, plus Kid Cudi himself, he helped to create Kanye West, uh, you know, one of the best albums uh, to date, which is 808s and Heartbreak, he collaborated on there, um, Kid Kanye West ins was inspired by Kid Cudi's sound to create something like 808's Heartbreak. Without Kid Cudi, there would have not been 808's and Heartbreak, most likely, or at least not in the shape or form we know it today. But Kid Cudi is here <laughs> with me, because 808's and Heartbreak, that's my shit, that's a classic. Uh, his later collaborations with Kanye West as well, uh, features and his own songs, again, let's not uh, value down the Kid Cudi's own discography, which is also really nice, Man of the Moon, a classic album of hip-hop, uh, also Passion, Pain and Demon Slain, another album I really enjoy, and there are other singles from other albums that are not that bad either, so I mean, you know what I'm saying, like, Kid Cudi is amazing, that's why I was here, excited, I reacted to this, what I think about the song, like, how if I like it or not, I would say it's an okay track, uh, on the second verse, actually, let me just finish. Uh, second verse, uh, he was talking about uh, relationships, love, romantic relationships, actually. Um, how and he was suggesting that uh, if you have a girl, you should actually like spend time, uh, pay attention to her, make sure that uh, she is loved, make sure that you are showing that you are there for her because um, she will be gone and she will be jealous. She will be jealous and then, uh, you know, after toxic things, like she will leave. As long as you are actually a good boyfriend to her, um, she will stick around most likely, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, it was it was kind of interesting to hear, but I, I, don't, I don't remember um, Kit Kari talking about love that much though, uh, his lyrics, maybe I'm, um, completely being ignorant right now and forgetful uh, my memory is faulty maybe but like that was sort of interesting thing to pick on i don't remember much about um relationships in kit Cudi's songs but again a lot of things packed on this uh, two verses he was talking about the song is not that long um and again it's uh, here listening to him on an actual hip-hop like this is actual hip-hop rap track like in its in a pure form you know what i'm saying and which uh, you always classified kid Cudi as a different kind of rapper not with anybody else but you sort of categorize kid Cudi on its on his own lane because he's sort of like a singer rapper like not even drake type of singer rapper but like again different lane because like he's somewhere like on that different atmosphere stratosphere somewhere <laughs> but you wouldn't like bring him into the conversation of like the best lyricist of all time etc etc you wouldn't classify kit Kari as like hell of a great rapper but now he like, on this track he actually just presents himself as a like legit pure rapper uh, interesting interesting i i would give it a six out of ten i like the song but i don't think I'm gonna be coming back to it that often, but I'm definitely excited. And also, I just, I'm, I'm thinking like, what's gonna happen next? Kit Kari, what's gonna be next song? What's gonna be the new direction for the album? From this direction, it feels like we are getting hip hop album that people like wanted and always sort of thought what would have happened if Kit Kari delivered a straight hip hop album like what would have happened this is not the sound he is known for so it's inter it's interesting that he still tries something new Kit Kari always tries something new so this is the direction where he want to go so let's support it
Let's check it out. Let's check out later materials what he's gonna drop. And the review is done at this point. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Um, in the comments below, what do you think about this Kid Cudi's new song? What do you think about it? Um, I will see you guys in the next ones. Goodbye.